Welcome to United States History. We're excited to have you join us. We're going to take a quick tour of the canvas page so that you know where to find everything, when you need it, and set you up for an excellent year. Please note that for students, we'll cover this information in class on Tuesday. The first thing you're going to notice on the home page is going to be recent announcements. We'll often announce when a unit test is coming up about a week before, including links to review materials. We might include announcements about field trips or reminders or any such thing. That will show up at the top. If I click on it, it's actually going to bring me to more information. Many times we'll hyperlink things right here. Underneath the recent announcements, you're going to see a Welcome to U.S. History, which includes contact information for each of, your, of the history teachers here at West. Mrs. Spears, Mrs. Krause, and Mr. Hagen. You can click on any of our names, for example, Mrs. Krause, and it's going to bring you to a page that includes contact information, including email and phone number, and some biographical information if you'd like to learn more. Feel free to use this contact information to get in touch with your history teachers. Below that, you'll see the U.S. course details. This gives an overview and a link to our syllabus. Please notice that the red one is a course syllabus for Apple users in book form, but there's also one for people who are using PCs or some other device, and that is the green one. Underneath that, you'll find the weekly agenda for U.S. history. This is what you'll probably use the most. For each day of the week, you'll notice that we have the learning and activities listed. For example, on Wednesday, it's Welcome Back, and we have Intros and History is Epic. Please note that anything read is hyperlinked on our site, so you can always get everything you need. If I click on Intros and History is Epic, it's going to bring me to a daily page. The daily page has every single thing that you'll need for the class today in one place. So it's got the date, it's got the learning targets, it's got the plan into including a link to the daily Google Slides and remember anything read is hyperlinked. It goes through assignments and the assignment on the intro padlet is linked and then it lists the homework and due date. For example, it's to finish the intro pad padlet as needed and that'll be due on Friday. Note that there's a previous and a next button to help you navigate back. We're going to click on the home button to go back. Below the daily activities is assignments. We've linked this to make it easy as well. So the first assignment is to finish the intro padlet. If I click on it, it's going to have the same information we just looked at, including any hyperlinks that you need. And notice that it's got homework in blue to let you know that it's ongoing. And on its due date, you'll see it in green and you know it's time to turn it in. Besides the actual home page, if I take a look at the navigation to the left, I'm going to notice announcements. I can view all announcements at once. Here we only have one. I can look at modules, which is a collection of all the week's learning plans. Please note that it starts with the course basics and resources, including technological and iPad resources. This is mostly places to get help with your iPad as needed with the tech office. Then you'll notice there's the syllabus, and then there's classroom resources by unit, which is our digital textbook. This page is gonna bring you to links for each unit that includes everything you'll need for that unit. For example, if I clicked on Westward Expansion, it's gonna have the learning targets and unit study guides. It's gonna have any iBooks or readings that are used in class. It's going to have links to flipped lectures, documentaries if that applies, and unit review materials. So it's like a digital textbook with everything gathered in one spot. That can be useful to you. If you needed to study because you were absent, you can go to the unit before or after. And please note, we do update these throughout the year as time goes on. Besides the classroom resources by unit, there's also some quick tech tutorials that we'll be looking at throughout the year. And this just gives you some tips that you can use with some of the apps that we use regularly. Underneath that, you'll notice in the learning plan for the week that it's got each day listed in a row. So if you were absent, you could take a look at those days. By clicking on it, you can find out what happened that day or get to the daily page. 
This is a good place to go if you're gone the week before or after or want to review something as well. You'll also notice there's a link to grades, assignments, and then Google Drive. We hope that this helped you understand how our Canvas course is linked. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact your history teacher. We're here to help you. Have a good day.